welcome to Home and Drink Extra Juice with Dano. Charlene and da- Well, yeah, Dano and Charlene. Isn't well, it weird? Oh, wait, it's Ellie and you do it. Charlene and Ellie. Yeah, but who says it? You go Charlene, I, she says Ellie. I think we. I don't know, actually, to be honest. But basically, anyway, Dano's here for the week. Ellie's living it up in Miami. Actually, she's back now. She's in New York. Miami but this is our bonus episode we get to be a little bit looser a little bit less structured restricted in what we say than our main episode and this week's bonus episode is sponsored by Primark or Pennies which is your one stop destination for holiday packing this summer How, what am I like packing Dano? Shocking I'm sorry. Horrendous but you have to say I've gotten better lately Lately yeah Haven't I? Yeah Packing cubes but Pennies have them they do wonders because you can squish like loads like you have one cube and just all your bikinis in it. Mm. And like when I got to Egypt, I had that all that sorted in the cubes. Then I just packed it all into my wardrobe and I was just, the room was not even a mess ever. Really good. And it was great. You're getting better, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Quicker. I used to be up, Quick remember back. I used to be up all night packing. Just do it like three days before. <laughs> I know. Not a night before, or three True. hours before. Yeah. Pennies are really cute, cute suitcases though. So. Mm. Have you got a suitcase now? Yeah. Have you? No. <laughs> no, we need, we need to get you one. Yeah. Maybe like a blue one or something. Mm. And then all the little minis. Yeah. You like the little minis as well? The mini suitcases? No, the little mini like toiletries before you go away. Oh, and all yeah, yeah. That you have. And then them bottles you can Essentials refill. Essentials they are. Essentials. Yeah. The last minute Primark dash. Yeah. So make sure to pop into your local penny store to check out all the gorgeous bits from the latest summer collections. They have really nice bikinis at the moment and like cover-ups, matching little mesh trousers, really, really nice for like beach clubs or any of your holidays that are coming up. And you can also see what's in store beforehand with their online stock finder. <laughs> So rant of the week is where we both rant about something that annoys us. So Dana, while I'm ranting, you can think of maybe something that annoys you. It can be something like a first world problem, like you spilt your milk today. Oh, okay. It's really like, it's stupid, like okay. really what we rant about. So basically if we have a rant or a problem or something's happened to us that week that's annoyed us, we can rant in here, judgment free. And we also love hearing the listeners' rants too. So you can send them into our email address. Um, but this week... My rant is golf. <laughs> I hate it. Why is your rant golf? Because it makes me want to pull out Why every though? single... Why? I would rather pull out every... I guarantee if you went golfing, you'd say, oh my God, I actually like it. I would probably... You're smashing a ball down a, a field. And then you have to go after it and yeah, walk. walk after Have Get your steps in. I'd miss the ball. You probably would miss the ball, yeah? So why is that fun? I don't okay, okay, fair enough. There's one thing playing it, right? I can actually see that might be like not the works, but watching it, it's like watching paint dry. It went on. No, you were watching. It's that lovely shot into the green. But Dano, you watched it for five hours there and then you got to bed and watched TikToks <laughs> of golf, how to play golf. Yeah. Surely you're not sitting there being excited about what's coming up next, what who's going to hit but it. But you know what I find really annoying? What? When uh, your alarm goes off 18 times a day. <laughs> At eight in the morning. I told you. How about I, that? What did I say to do? Just tip me and say, Charlene, wake up. No, but like you're old, you're 25 now. The alarm if goes off. Annoying, if it's annoying. The alarm that goes one. off once, fair enough, all right. Okay, but then... Second I'm... time. Mm, all right. She hasn't heard it. Third time, she's taking the piss. Yeah, but you don't understand. Like... And then after that, it's so annoying. What was my alarm again? Yeah. And then the Alexa does be going like last night 3 a.m., 4 a.m., just shines up. Did it? Just out of nowhere. Ghost. And then your alarm, like your phone was pinging all night. Oh, was it? You obviously hadn't got it on silent. Oh, so. No wonder I had a terrible sleep. You just put on silent for me, like. No, like. Why? Just so reach over and no. do it instead of sitting there being angry. No. Okay, but my issue is that I don't hear it. The alarm does become part of my dream. And it's you obviously like, now the alarm's on. I don't know, it's, I'm really like, it's like I'm immune to it now. It takes me like a good few alarms to realise my alarm's going off. It's like a real, your alarm goes off it's like, a real for like two, three hours? No, not that long. It does. No. It does. It, Dan, that's really dramatic. It's not. Well, okay. About an hour and a half. No, this morning it was it's a half an hour. And sure, they've been well longer. Yeah, Trust on the me. weekends. <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah, they you don't have. need an alarm for the weekends. I like setting an alarm every day. But you don't get up. Yeah, I think I should, I don't know, <laughs> what's wrong with me? We need, to, we need to have a serious chat about this. Okay, this is our chat now. It's just stop with the alarms. 
but just hit me and then I realise oh shit no. my alarm's going off why Ta- then don't because I'm asleep don't say it's annoying you when you're not going to do anything about it you need to help you me you need to do something you're not about asleep it. if you're hearing it yeah I'll just go and try a phone out the window it's really good okay well, that's so direct just hit me just tap me tell that one out you have another one anyways <laughs> so just, I need one just tell you Oh, I will do that. And then if you don't your answer, alarms off, is, <gasps> if you don't answer the first time, then throw it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, all right. Just tip me first. Okay. Um, also, a slight rant is I went to go to Pilates and I was four minutes late and there was a big sign at the door saying, latecomers not allowed in. <laughs> I felt really left out, but like I was getting bullied. Well, yeah, late. Punctuality is key. I know it is, but... And you are not really punctual, are you? I know, but I, th- I didn't think I wouldn't be allowed in. The class Pilates is good. A good rip, enough for you. A rip off. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm no, it's gonna not. Let you it works. Well, it works, but it's so expensive. It's like twenty five euro for a class or something. It's not bad. Tano. Okay, imagine you're doing. Okay, one once is fine, but like if you're doing, if you want to get that. Yeah. If you're doing four classes a week, that's hundred quid. Depends on what you love it, then, isn't it? Yeah. Do you love your Pilates? No, don't be late ever again. Mm. I'll be at the doorstep. I've done that a few times with Pilates as well, where I go to, like, I was in the podcast the other week and I went to half five and the class was actually half four and I missed it. I'm Oops. lacking up there sometimes, isn't that? Yeah. But yeah, my main rant is golf. Can't watch it. It's like, I, I you, understand. Fine, just you just stay in your room and I'll just watch the TV and <laughs> see I can understand itself. you watching like football and stuff. I don't really watch all the tournaments, just watch the major major tournaments. Yeah. Do you know I mean the big ones? Yeah, you don't yeah, true. But you seem to be very loving it now. You're going to golf after this. It was on like on the Sunday. Sunday's the last day, I was always. Okay. Yeah. Uh, watch the last day. There always seems to be golf tournaments on. Yeah, not one like, every week. Every week? Yeah, but they're not so big. there's major championships. Dana's currently wearing a golf t shirt that you got. I'm going golfing now. Yeah. I'm mm. not even good at golf. Like I'm I'm, Roger. I'm not I'm not bad, but every time I'll I ask you have you won, you're like, no. I'm all right. Just get the, just it's very difficult. Yeah, of course. Very, very difficult stiff sport. Stiff hamstrings, maybe that's why. Mm. Stretch them out this time. Thanks. But yeah, you got them. Well. There is a tip I learned from your videos you're watching. So if you agree with our rants or you want to give your own, you can email homeydrink at goloudnow.com and follow us on Instagram as well. It's homeydrinkpods because we do like little um, like question boxes on there. We do our phone friend segment there for the main episode and any kind of interactive questions are always on there in our clips as well for the podcast. Um, but you can also watch our main episodes on YouTube fully now, which is fun. We have cameras all around us. Um, next up, we're going to do If I Was You, which is kind of the same as... The last dilemma is, but this is like how we'd, what we, exactly we would do if we were right, if we became this person, got possessed by them and were in their shoes, what would you do? Okay. These are all sent into our email address and yeah. it's drink at goloudnow.com. Okay. So we can't sit on the fence. We can't say, oh, maybe like we have to say, this is exactly what I do. Okay. I listen quite long. Hi girls. I found out my boyfriend's friends, my boyfriend's friend cheating on his girlfriend through someone I know telling me. Then my boyfriend also told me when I saw him and he said he didn't want to get involved and asked me not to either. But I just feel so bad because the girlfriend doesn't know and she's posting him and about being their anniversary and stuff and doesn't realise. He's just smiling at his posts and it just makes me sick. I would be sort of close with the girlfriend when we do things together as couples, but not really just in general. But I feel really guilty that I know this and she doesn't care because I know I would hate if it was the other way around. I want to tell her. But I also don't know if I should get involved because if I do, I know my boyfriend will be annoyed and probably won't ever tell me anything again. I'm left facing his friends not liking me if they did break up. I just don't know how to go about it because I know how horrible it is for people to know something about your relationship that you don't know. I also think he's done it more than once because I heard something about him a month or two ago also. So it's just the fact that he keeps doing it that makes me more annoyed at him and not that he only maybe done it once and regrets it. I feel like not telling her really goes against what I always say because it happened to me before and I never wanted it to happen to someone else. I'm going to be seeing her soon because we are all supposed to be going out together. I don't know if I'll be able to look at him without telling, without looking, without looking disgusted. Ha ha. You can always tell how I feel by my face. If you could please help, I'd be so grateful, even if you can think of a way for me to tell her without actually being me or if I should, shouldn't get involved at all. That's tough. Oh, I wouldn't get involved. You don't like any kind of confrontation. Oh, but I just wouldn't get involved in other people's relationships. 
I know, but... If it's not going to work, it's not going to work. If he's going to cheat on her all the time, he's going to get caught, isn't he? So let him eventually get caught. Just not your place to say, is it? If you're really close with her, yeah. Yeah, but what is someone's place then? What like what classes he has being allowed to Does say? Does she know all the facts, though? Does she know it's 100% true? Someone, she heard it off someone. Well, that's not 100% true. Oh, and, her, and then, no, sorry, and then her boyfriend said it as well. Then her boyfriend said it? He said it's true? How does he know? Are they mates? Yeah. It's, it's, it's her boyfriend's it's 100% friend. True. Yeah, I'd reckon so if he's telling her, like... It's hard. Yeah, and then I know, like, it's... Then he's going to get the back end of it as well, if he's his mate. I think you need to be prepared for... See, if I'm telling you stuff, you don't, you know not to say anything. Yeah. John. Because I know if you tell me something and I did say something, you probably wouldn't tell me again. Wouldn't again. Oh, it's really... You're kind of stuck between... I wouldn't get involved personally. A loyalty to your... To her... And then a loyalty the, to a your loyal, boyfriend. Loyalty to a girl that you you get along with, but you don't. No, but for best girls, me. it's like a moral, like it's really a moral thing of like she's gone through it already. She's been cheated on. She I feel like women want. like to get involved in things. Women do. Like not every single woman, but no. But I don't think she's doing this to be involved. She's just doing it at the good of her own heart to be like, I want her to know because I've she something that happened to her, and she was in her shoes. She, this woman probably already knows that the boyfriend cheated on. He probably told her maybe, and they're just getting on with it. Do you know what I mean? You never know what's you going on in that. this relationship. Okay, but what if, her, what if her boyfriend tells her and says, no, she has no idea? Who's she going to sick boy? The boyfriend, obviously. And then that just put a wedge in between that group, his mate and her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can look at it like, loads of angles, but, then but I just wouldn't get involved in it. That's really hard. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it as your friends. Like if I'm, t- I'm thinking of a couple and what I tell them. I think what I would do is talk to other girls in the group that you're like to say there's boyfriends so or girlfriends could tell in the group. Them? No, no, just chat to them and be like, what do you think? Because they might have an, another input or like an inkling of what to do they probably also know mm. and they might like maybe it's a thing where you all get together and tell her together so it's not like it's on one person mm. to do it and to look like because the boys in the group are going to be oh, I just annoyed it's, of, yeah. oh, I just don't think other people should get in, the, in other yeah, but think of it, business I would want a girl to tell me I know but just like yeah, it's, it's eventually probably going to come out yeah, but why would you want that to leave, be left like that? That's you have such a man's input. That's fine for you to say that, though. Like and you're leaning towards telling them. Yeah. But then you're going against your boyfriend. So why would I ever tell you anything? Well. Who do you care more about? Sometimes it's, it was like a real <laughs> situation for me. Um, I think. Get, like I said, talk to other girls in the group. <sighs> see what they say. They know people's temperaments more and like how they react. Because some girls, I feel like if you told them, they'd be like... No, nah, it didn't happen. Yeah. Mm. So there's that as well. There's, yeah. a, there's a thing of she might turn against you. She could be like, oh, I already I was, know. Like, why is it looking at you it? couldn't go, yeah. So it's like you need to decide. That's what I'm saying. Like, just don't get involved. Yeah, you need to decide out if it's worth your... Are your, like, is your want like, to tell her Like, she's probably thinking into it too much. Too much. The girl, like, wanting to tell the girl. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When the girl, she could probably tell the girl and she probably wouldn't, she probably doesn't care. But then, you have to look at the other side of, like, I know. she might tell her and be like, oh my God, thanks so much for telling me, like, yeah. I would have never known. <sighs> yeah. Um, I can't say. I wouldn't get involved, but I'm kind of on the fence. Yeah. We're not allowed to be on the fence. Well, I, well, I wouldn't get involved. Okay, that's your... Yeah. Okay, I would say, like I said, get all the other girlfriends, chat to them, be like, girls, what should I do? Did you know about this? Like, um, and I think if he's there going to do it, like, do it together. Because it's not fair if it's only one person to say it, I think. And then all, everyone, the boys turn against her and, like, for doing a good thing, really. Mm-hmm. Um, And the same with the girl. She can't be like, you're trying to ruin it. It's like, it, if they come as a group and say it, or, like, even two of them. Yeah. Two or three, I think that is the best way to do it and just chat to each other first 
Mm-hmm. I remember because she asked her boyfriend to say, look, I need, I feel like I need to say it to her. Is he going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, probably. Talk to your, the girlfriends of the group and let us know. But it's hard. It's You're going to be going against someone. So that's why it's so hard. Mm-hmm. I know that you're good at advice though. Thanks. And you're very attentive to the questions as well. Thanks. Anything else you'd like to say on your time here on Home a Drink? Nah, I love me time here for the past hour and a half. Do you think it makes you feel But better? it's time to go now. Do you reckon you'd be better at <laughs> doing interviews and stuff? What no. do you mean? Like if asking from, questions from doing this, yeah, you me like, asking questions to the no, does it no, no, when you get to interviews, like I'm grand at interviews, but you used to not be confident at them. Yeah, I just didn't want to speak in front of a lot of cameras, did I? Mm. But now, do you think doing this helps you feel more confident? Yeah, you've helped me. Oh, <laughs> it's like therapy, yeah. Thanks for coming on. No worries. You can send your dilemmas or first world problem or rant into home I drink at golownow.com, which is our email address. Um, that's where we get them them all in. And dilemmas are so hard sometimes. They are very hard. But even life dilemmas are hard. Mm-hmm. Life is hard. Very hard. But we try. And again, take our advice with a pinch of salt. We're not viable. Yeah. Me and Ellie always say. And Ellie will be back next week as normal. So no more Dano. Be replaced by someone with a bit more hair. Viewers are gonna be fairly sad. The viewers will be sad. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um but yeah, we will chat to you on Wednesday. New episodes of How I Drink Extra Juice also come out every Monday. Our main episodes then are on Wednesdays and the main ones are on YouTube as well, so you can watch them fully on YouTube. Thank you so much for Penny for sponsoring this episode. Make sure to like, rate, and subscribe to whatever podcast platform you're listening to right now or watch it on as well and talk to you soon we love you say love you and then you have to say bye love you bye love you bye love you bye (laughs) subscribe to this podcast for free on the go loud app